Okay, we've got three vertices, so corners, of a right angle triangle, where angle ABC is the right angle. So, have a little sketch. We've got A, B, C. Angle ABC is the right angle. A is minus 2, 1. This definitely won't be drawn to scale. B is 6, 5. And C is 4. And K, we don't know what K is. Find an equation of a line that passes through A and C. So this one here. Give your answer in this form. OK. So we're going to need to find out what K is before we can work out the equation of the line. So we can work out a line's equation when we know two points, but with just K, with just K, we're not going to be able to work it out. So what do we do? We work out the gradient of this line. And then we know the gradient of this line because two lines that meet at a right angle are perpendicular. So if we work out the gradient of AB, I'll just put a note AB, and the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we'll just label these x1, y1, x2, y2, and substitute them in. So 5 minus 1 over 6 minus minus um, 2, which is 4 over 8, which is 1 half. So that's the gradient of this line. So that means the gradient of BC, put BC here, the gradient is perpendicular. So it's a negative reciprocal. So that means it's negative. So it's negative and it's flipped. So flipped. So reciprocal of one over two is two over one. So this gradient multiplied by this gradient has to give us a minus 1. So the gradient of BC is minus 2. Now we can work out this coordinate. Um, we'll use the formula again. So we, we, there are a few ways we could have done it, but we'll use the formula again. So we'll just go x1, y1, x2, y2, and use the formula. So m, which is minus 2, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So minus 2 is k minus 5 over minus 2. So to get rid of a divide by minus 2, we multiply by minus 2. So multiply both sides by minus 2, which gives me minus 2 times minus 2, which is a positive 4. So 4 equals k minus 5, so k must be 9. So what do we have now? We know that this coordinate is actually 4, 9. Now we're going to work out the equation of a to c. We can use the gradient formula again for the third time. So we'll have, we'll keep these as x1, y1. I'll just write it in purple so we know. And this is x2, y2. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 9 minus 1 over 4 minus minus 2, which is 8 over 6, which simplifies to 4 thirds. So we've got y equals 4 thirds. So y equals mx plus c is the equation of a straight line. y equals 4 thirds x plus c. Now we need to work out what c is. And to work out what c is, we use one of the coordinates. So we know it goes through 4, 9. So if we use that, that gives me 9 is 4 thirds times 4 plus c. So 9 equals 16 thirds plus C. So we've just got to do 9 minus 16 thirds. Um, 
Yeah, so when I change 9 to thirds, that would be 27 thirds equals 16 thirds plus C. So C must be 11 thirds. So that gives me Y is 4 thirds X plus 11 thirds. So we've got the equation of the line. It's just not in the form they asked for. They wanted AY plus BX equals C. So if I multiply everything by 3, 3Y equals 4X plus 11. And then minus the 4X on both sides. 3Y minus 4X is equal to 11. And that's the equation of the line.